the reason I started the Impact Society is because uh, I'm just dedicated and committed to trying to make the world a better place. I had a very troubled childhood and a difficult adolescence. I spent a lot of my adolescent years in juvenile reform schools. The last grade of school that I completed was the fifth grade. And it wasn't until I was in my 40s that I finally turned my life around. And having survived um, the life that I have and the opportunities that have come to me in my 40s, I just realized that it's, a, it's my passion and my dream to do everything I can to help intervene in the lives of young people before they you know, go down some of the paths that I've gone down. The Impact Society is a nonprofit organization providing safe places for young people to reach their full potential. We use music and arts as a medium to engage them. We provide them opportunities to learn and grow. And through discovering arts, hopefully what they do is they discover themselves. The thing that drives me most to be here is the opportunity to share with young people my knowledge, my experience, my hope, my strength. I've been doing what I do for many years, 25, 30 years, I started at an early age, and I was fortunate enough to have a father who helped me develop uh, and, and really wouldn't let me do anything else. He knew music was my passion. Uh, when I was 16 years old, I said I wanted to write music for movies and television, and I write music for movies and television. And I wasn't allowed to stray, even when I wanted to, because they knew that was my passion, and I want to do that for young people. I'm passionate about teaching kids because I feel like they need something in their lives that's more than just math or science. You know, it's, it's a form of expression, and I feel like music and art is one of the best ways to express yourself, and who doesn't want that? I feel like it's like breathing or food. You need to be able to express yourself. The fun thing about art for me is um, I'm creating something that didn't exist before. Um, it's my interpretation of what I see, and so it's a little bit of me coming out on a canvas or a piece of paper. The instructors here have real world experience. I know I've been a professional musician for 30 years and I like to share my knowledge with people who are willing to listen and receive it. It's about getting kids involved um, and sparking their creativity. We don't teach here by, uh, out of a textbook. We don't teach by telling the kids what to do. We show them what to do and we stand back and let them do it which is, in my opinion, the best way to teach because kids learn by doing. It's really important that young people have uh, mentors in their life and people to guide them and steer them and people to believe in them and to give them opportunities and chances to learn and grow so that they can learn to believe in themselves. I really looked up to a lot of my teachers and they taught me everything I know from singing to acting and they, without them, I don't know really where I'd be at right now. A lot of the time when they come home from school, they need a place to come and to decompress. A place where they're loved unconditionally and their experiences, that the adults in the room is really listening. It's really a, a real positive environment and opportunity for the teenagers in this community to explore. I mean, as the name implies, Impact Society, uh, it's a group of people, a society, that are hoping to impact people in our society that will be the next generation. You know, these are going to be kids that grow up to become our replacements and it's my sincere hope that we have an impact on them so that they have an impact on our world in the future. I've been a lawyer for 30 years. The last five years I've been in the Maryland judiciary. What I've seen as a common thread throughout all of the legal problems is a high incidence of alcohol and drug involvement. It's everywhere. I see the end result of teenagers who have nothing to do after school. Kids that are left at home alone, latchkey kids, kids that uh, are vulnerable and impressionable and make the wrong choices. I was very susceptible to peer pressure and very much worried about what everybody thought of me. And art was something that was more healthy <laughs> for me, uh, a healthy way to express myself. Um, it just 
made me feel good about myself. When I was in high school, I really didn't march to the drums of the crowd, and that served me well. But not everyone has that personality. Some people have personalities where they really need to belong, where they need to fit in. And they're either going to fit in with a crowd that leads them toward education and achievement, or they're gonna get in with the crowd that's going to take them down the road that we're trying to avoid. Parents should trust their children to this program because the people that are involved are professionals. We've been in this industry for a period of time. Myself, I've been teaching dance for 27 years. I know the students out there. I know what their concerns are. I've had troubled youths in my class. I've had kids who were having sex, who were using drugs, and they had to have a safe place to come to. I think it's important to give kids the opportunity to see what's possible, um, to experience some platforms for their growth potential. When kids, if they're given the opportunity to see what's involved, what's possible, they can get really excited about that. For me, when I was young, that's what enabled me to have a career in the music business, was that I was shown that it's possible. For me, I think that's the most important thing, is to show these young people that it is possible to have a dream, to follow that dream. And the self-esteem that you build by setting a goal, achieving that goal, setting another goal, that's what sets them up for success later in life. The self-confidence, the self-love, the self-acceptance. That's what enables them to have success in their chosen fields, whether it's music or whether they're stockbrokers. It's all about them being able to make concise decisions and follow through on their own goals and plans. The Impact Society is going to give teenagers the opportunity to really find belief in themselves, to start building that positive character that they need to carry them on through life. If you play an instrument or if you are, you know, into an art form, that means that you have self-discipline. It takes, it's a lot of work. You have to sit in front of your instrument for hours and hours, and that can be applied to so many different things. You know, if you're going to sit there and take the time to learn an instrument or to learn an art or a craft of some kind, it says a lot about who you are. You know, that says that you're devoted. It says that you're passionate. It's, you know, it builds your character. People that do best in life are those that had a vision for what was really going to turn them on. Something early in life that became a goal. If you find out what you want to do with your life early on, it's, it's a wonderful thing, but not everybody has that opportunity. Not everybody's exposed to something that all of a sudden creates a fire in them and you know, just says, wow, this is what I want to do. But unless you're exposed to something like that, unless you have those opportunities in front of you and can experience the arts or music or dance or whatever the case may be, then you, know, you, you may not ever find something like that. You may not find your way in, in life to do something that is extraordinary. I think it's really important for young people to find their passions early. I did, and it allowed me to, to follow my goal, follow my dreams and to achieve goals at an early age. So I was able to be a musician and I was able to be a writer. And I think that the earlier they find their passion, the earlier they can engage with, with people who do what they want to do, the higher level of success they're going to achieve and the higher levels of confidence they're going to have, which is going to enable them to have careers in their field of interest. I love teenagers. I think they are, are really fun to be around. They're learning who they are. And this is my way of, of finding some significance in, in passing down what I've learned and the passion that I have and the pleasure that I've gotten out of doing art and music. I think that the, the teens, once they realize that their program is truly their program, they're gonna be incredibly excited because they get an opportunity to have their own radio station. They're gonna have an opportunity to have their own productions. They're gonna have an opportunity to invite their friends and their parents to performances that they're involved with. Uh, the, the, the film track kids are gonna be able to take home a DVD with a film they made and show it to their family, their friends. I mean, how exciting is that? I would have loved to have had that opportunity when I was their age. I'm so passionate about my music because it's brought me so much joy in my life and I couldn't imagine my life without music. So I wanna be able to give that to other people that might not have had that opportunity from a childhood or you know, going into adulthood. I feel like everyone should have music or art as an opportunity to bring joy to their life. Here you can develop a dream and we'll help you follow it and we'll give you all the tools you need to discover all your potential and all your talent. We all have the same goal, to impart a little bit of our wisdom 
on these young people and, and hopefully make a difference and impact society that way.